Hello, hello, hello! It's a brand new day and this is our morning connection. How are you doing this morning? I'm so glad you are here for your new uh, daily discipline, your morning ritual, your new habit uh, to get you clear, get you focused, just two men going through the journey of life, you and me, just checking in, getting our minds right before we take on the day. Did you wake up this morning with your game face on? I'm so glad you're here. Uh, my name is Skip LaCour. This is a little thing we call a morning connection if you're new uh, to this live broadcast. Uh, I specialize in helping older men become their best both inside and outside of the gym. I do that in a lot of ways. Uh, maybe you've seen my workouts for older men live broadcast. Maybe you listen to my uh, Manformation podcast. Well, this is something that I do uh, every single morning. Uh, driven, ambitious, men who are a little bit older, are looking at life a little bit differently, we've got more time behind us than we do in front of us. We have to live. We have to take on the day with a sense of urgency. And that's what I remind you of. That's what you help me keep in mind uh, as we meet. Uh, and I know that uh, we, have, uh, we have viewers from all over the world. So I know it's the afternoon, it's the evening. I want you to... Uh, Make this a planned part of your day. Maybe in the morning, if you're listening to it, maybe the next day you're watching me, all right? Uh, you plan it on a certain part of your day. Just our time to just check it. I'm gonna give you some things to think about. I help men just like you all over the world uh, with their goals both inside and outside of the gym. I, most men know me as the six-time national champion drug-free bodybuilder. When we uh, expand our relationship. I, I help men uh, get clear on all areas of their life, um, uh, business, their goals, just expand themselves, uh, whether it's just what they do for a living, what they want to do uh, for their legacy, uh, those things that they want to cross off their bucket list. And when you're a little bit younger, you just think that, well, if I just keep on doing the same old things, it's eventually going to work out. I think uh, if you're a little bit older, you realize that the only way it, they work out is not if you just have good intentions, not just if you just work hard. I mean, you got to find uh, a set of strategies that actually work uh, in this lifetime. Um, good intentions are great. Good intentions are great. Uh, but that doesn't, those uh, good intentions don't produce results. A lot of hard work doesn't necessarily produce results. It's um, the effective and efficient strategies, and that's uh, what this is all about. When you come onto this um, live broadcast. If you're watching me live, go ahead and uh, say hello. I want to acknowledge you for being here. Uh, if you are watching this in a uh, replay version, that is great too. Uh, go ahead and post your comments and questions down below. I'm getting a lot of great feedback, especially when I post uh, this broadcast over on YouTube. There's a lot of great, uh, uh, you're getting a lot out of this. I appreciate you telling me uh, this as I get up you know, and go live at three o'clock every morning uh, to check in with you. Love the comments. I want to. I want to serve you any way I can. I know uh, this makes me wake. If you're the first person I'm talking to today, probably uh, six out of the seven days that I do this, you're always the first person I'm talking to. But post your comments down below. If you got any questions, any suggestions, I love the emails that you're sending. Skip at skiplacore.com or direct message me. Uh, again, post those comments down below. So let's see we have here today. Uh, today I want to talk about the shift. The shift, and that's that magical moment when there's something that uh, uh, you have this goal, you want to become this bigger, stronger person, you want to some type of achieve, achievement, uh, some set of habits uh, that you really want to make part of your life that uh, maybe you weren't born with or didn't come naturally, you didn't have it earlier in your life, but it's something you always want and you just were chip, chip, chipping away, uh, going through that grind, was it ever going to happen? But then you make that shift. I want to talk about that shift and uh, what we need to do to recognize when that shift is coming so we keep on keeping on and maybe make that shift happen a little bit earlier. I want to talk about that a lot more during this morning connection with us, you and me, today. All right. Who do we have going? Who do we have here? Uh, Masashi is here. Good evening. <laughs> My superhero from Japan, good having you here. Uh, good morning, uh, Musashi. Uh, good morning, Pete. Good to have you here too, sir. Tell me what you guys are loving about this, what you want more of. I see Santosh here. All right. 
I want to talk to you, you know, I, a lot of times, you know, I, I talk about things uh, and it's just my view of the world, right? We all have these different views of the world. I share mine. Hopefully it's helpful, uh, but it's always just uh, my perception of what goes on in the world and you should uh, take it that way. Uh, you shouldn't necessarily just accept it. Unless it serves you, you should accept it, right? And anything anybody says is just their view of the world. It's not necessarily true unless we we accept it and we make it part of our world and we have that decision all the time. I want to say things during this Morning Connection, uh, this broadcast that empower you, get you to think about uh, how you can overcome any of your challenge and become that man you really want to be. That's what this is about. So, you know, uh, there have been many things in my life, uh, many times, uh, I can think of, you know, when I was younger and I was uh, working at the grocery store and I was so uh, driven and ambitious to get the the promotions ever since you know I was 21 years old and I was the junior junior manager junior 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 manager and I wanted that promotion because first of all it would maybe there was a little bit more money but maybe I had better shifts I didn't have to work nights and weekends or something like that I just remember it was that grind you know it's like uh, you just think about it 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 uh, sometimes you feel really good in the process like this is a foregone conclusion. I'm getting that promotion. I'm going to be the next best superhero, superstar on this journey. It's just a matter of time. And that feels great, right? But there's a lot of times you're thinking, what am I doing? This isn't me. I'll never make it. They don't like me. Uh, this, I'm not suited for this, right? There's so many guys out there that are just natural, so much better than me, right? I mean, it's that whole array of emotions Right? And it's not just uh, the great emotions of confidence. Uh, you doubt yourself. You look around. How do you stack up? Right? But you're just, just engaged, obsessed. The, the journey, the ups and downs and all arounds. Right? Like I said, I remember that at the grocery store. I remember very, a lot of stages in my life. Uh, you know, I look back on my bodybuilding career. And you can look back, well, I'm a six-time national champion, right, or whatever. You only have, like, fond memories like it was all winning. Trust me, it was nothing like that when I was in the moment. I mean, it was a grind. Uh, there was, it, many times it seemed like uh, there were just as many setbacks and uh, takeaways, uh, negative consequences from everything I was benefiting from. And it felt that way a lot, but you just keep on keeping on, you know, connecting to that vision, talking about it, thinking about it, breaking it down, writing out goals, scratching those, throwing up away, writing down new goals, right? The grind, that grind that you're obsessed with, you must get to that other side, right? Uh, after that, it was like, how was I gonna put my life together, uh, you know, relationships, and now that I'm here in this, uh, you know, just, just a great situation where a family business coming to you, right? There's always a grind, right? And it, it's not always an enjoyable grind, right? Until you make that shift. You know what I'm talking about? Making that shift? When all of a sudden you just say, you know what? I'm not there yet, but I'm there in my mind. I got this. And then all of a sudden you just step into your power. You know it's a foregone conclusion. Now it's just a matter of time. You made that shift in your mind and that success, that feeling, that person you want to become, that man you want to become, it is inevitable. Like how many times have you done that in your life? I'm just curious. You know what I'm talking about uh, with that shift, right? Uh, I'm, I just made a little shift uh, just recently, uh, something again, in life, there's always that thing in front of us, right? And when we accomplish that, we got to continue to grow. And then there's that other thing uh, that we're obsessed with, we're uh, determined to improve upon, right? Just making that shift for me, and it's a lot of this coming to you. I had an interesting dream last night. You know, I don't, you know, it's it's like I talk about, you know, just becoming a better man. Uh, it's with my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, always cracking code. I'm always thinking about it. I'm always obsessed. How can I help you? How can I help myself? How can I help my family? How can I instill it in my kids, right? Because everything in front of you, I'm telling you, you know, you, we have so much control. And when you realize that you are in control, your imagination, it's just like a chess game. If you can think 32 steps ahead in this chess game, everybody else is going on with their life. Right? They've got their own things that they're trying to figure out. But the person who knows where they're going down line and has that confidence, 
you will see that, you know, a lot of guys, they make decisions. A lot of men, they make decisions. Oh, this is possible. This isn't possible. That'll never work. No one will ever buy that. I am telling you this. When you start understanding that the future is just a blank slate, nothing has been determined yet, and you have the control. Uh, two days, uh, two months, two years about how everybody's going to fall in line. Everybody's going to fall in line. When you decide where you're going and you pick the right people around you and influence them that they want to come along because you have a great value for them, that you're, it's a blank slate. If you're trying to decide what will and will not work now based on what you know, man, I tell you, that's the... This is the big shift that if there's anything you can get from that tomorrow, next month, it is not written. You cannot determine it. And if you do say something isn't possible right now, and then it does happen, you're going to say, see, I'm right. No, you're right because of what you did not do and what you did uh, uh, do to make it the way that you assumed it was going to be or you predetermined it's going to be. Now, I don't want to get all woohoo. But you have the power, and you've done that before in the past, right? And what does it take? You know, that's the thing about it, it takes so much thinking. That it, you know, uh, it takes it takes this connecting. Okay, where I am, where am I today? Was today a good day or a bad day? Am I getting closer? That constant thought for a lot of men, that this whole process can be wearing them out. All right. Now, it helps if you really are connected, you really believe in what you do, you really love what you do, but sometimes you're not going to love it. I mean, the grind to get that higher level, the best things in life, best emotions, best experiences, those big goals, they're reserved for a select few men like you and me who are willing to do that work. And one of it is to continually, continually think about it, even when it's uncomfortable, until you make that shift, that shift. Right? That shift when you know you're in your element and you want to dig in, you want to get up early because now it's a foregone conclusion. You still may have months or even years to actually make it happen, but now you're convinced. You feel about it. Now you're willing to do whatever it takes because you know it. That shift happened. You know, part of the price we uh, pay for it to getting to that amazing, beautiful point is that shift is to go through the grind, withstand all the angst, right? Until the unknowing, until we know, all right? What's that, what's that for you? What are you grinding out? You're uncomfortable, you want it, but just doesn't seem to come. You're going, because I'm telling you, when you can anticipate that moment that we make that shift, I am telling you, that is the greatest feeling in the world. All of your work in the past, all your eggs in the past, then all of a sudden becomes worth it, right? It's not, it's not that, I, oh, I just need to forget about it. It'll come or whatever the universe is going to do. No, you are going to determine it, all right? Just look forward to that shift. Now, that shift, that great feeling I'm talking about, I hope you know what I'm talking about. I hope it comes for you soon, whatever you're after. It comes a, a long time before you actually achieve and become but I'll tell you, when you make that shift, the whole journey becomes such an amazing game, <laughs> right? Just the most amazing game in the world, right? You know, a lot of times reaching the goal, uh, that's sometimes anticlimactic uh, from that time when you finally believed all oh, that persistent paid off. You made that shift. And then that next grind, heck, actually making the goal uh, sometimes is uh, second to that time, that journey from the shift to actually achieving it. That's the best time, right? Then guess what? We got to do that all over again with the next one, all right? So let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I hope that comes at a good time. Maybe uh, you're grinding out. Maybe you're feeling like quitting. Uh, maybe you think you'll never get it. And uh, maybe I reminded you uh, of something in the past where you thought that way, but then you made that shift. Maybe that shift, I hope that shift is coming for you soon. Hang in there. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's. Hey, remember, uh, uh, Manformation course, a Morning Connection special. Click that link down below. Mindset Action is a powerful alpha male. You get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. I can bring out some clarity during our time together. The call is recorded where I can get you closer 
and close to that shift of that man you want to become, that accomplishment, that achievement that you've been grinding away at, uncertain if you're going to make it happen. Maybe I can help you uh, get a little bit closer to doing it than this one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching session that you get with the Morning Connection, Man Formation course, the Mindset and Actions of a Powerful Alpha Male Leader. Click that link below. I look forward to talking to you. All right, so let's take on the day with a sense of urgency. If you're a little bit older, we've got more time behind us than we do in front of us. Expect the best. Expect the best from yourself. Expect the best from your efforts that they will pay off. That shift is coming. Expect the best from other people. All right, to do this, we need uh, the help of other people. Expect that they'll get it. Uh, when you figure it out and you really create value, not just have good intentions, you really create value for other people. You help them get it. You influence them what a value you have. And it's not you try and then, oh, people let me down. No, you figure it out. Expect the best when you do figure it out that they'll do their part. Expect the best from yourself. Expect the best from your efforts. Expect the best from other people. Have a great day.